I'm at Elwood Plantation, um, just west of the Battle of the Wilderness, which took place in those trees back there. Um, back over here on the other side, about a half a mile, was where the uh, field hospital was, facing uh, where the Battle of Chancellorsville was, where I mentioned uh, previously that um, Stonewall Jackson was shot in the arm and his arm was amputated just about a half a mile down in there at a field hospital. Here at the Elwood uh, Plantation, as you can see, there's there's nobody around. I'm literally the only one here, standing among the cornfield here. Um, what's interesting about this spot, though, is directly behind me is an old family cemetery of the Lacey family. And you'll see this little fenced off area. You will see one little monument out of this whole unmarked family cemetery, and it's uh, the arm of Stonewall Jackson. Here in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of cornfield, is Stonewall Jackson's arm. Now, interestingly, I will point out, I went for a photo op here a second ago and kneeled, uh, went over the little family cemetery fence here, the wooden fence, and kneeled down next to the monument and uh, took a quick picture. And as I, as soon as the picture snapped, a uh, swarm of, of huge bees came in and literally attacked me. And I got stung in the back of the leg. Uh, so, I don't know if that's a coincidence, but uh, I guess they don't want you messing with Stonewall Jackson's arm. Anyway. Um, the day this took place, on May 4th, 1863, um, after his arm was amputated, he was taken 26 miles to uh, a place called Guinea Station, Virginia, um, where he died um, a couple days later. <laughs>